Hello and welcome to another episode of All Code Sucks. In this one we're going to be taking a look at a convenient but rather unsafe shortcut uh, via f-strings. Uh, so let's jump into it. Okay, so this was a piece of code that I saw that made HTML output. And I'm sure you've already guessed that there's XSS involved, but uh, specifically it was generating an image tag uh, which had a source and alt text. And it looked something like this. Uh, well, first let's set our alt text. Uh, this is my GitHub profile, so I don't know, photo of Azatilly. And the code looked something like this. Image, uh, and they use this shorthand, this is new in Python 3.8, uh, to print the source and, oh, there's a software update error, anyway. Uh, so what it does here is this will print this expression and then it'll print the representation of source. So in this case, it actually works because HTML can have single quoted things and you know everything's properly quoted here. However, the problem comes when this is generated from a user, a user-generated text. Maybe, you know, they captioned their photo or something like that. And in that case, people can put whatever they want here and do what's called cross-site scripting or XSS. I have a particular example of one of them here. Uh, if we set alt to this particular string, uh, now there's some subtleties to this. First, it's a single quoted string. Uh, such that when we escape this single quote, it'll still start with a single, or sorry, no, it starts with a double quote. That's so that it becomes a single quoted string. This allows us to end the original single quote, have another attribute here, essentially some attribute stuffing. Uh, our payload code here, you could of course use double quotes inside this and write out whatever script you want. Uh, but if we do this now, and let's say that we took the output code and put it into a little HTML file, and we open this up with our browser, you'll see that it's going to run code, uh, yeah, alerting zero. Not very interesting, but you know it. It we successfully uh, accessed this. Now you could also use on error instead of on load if the image were to fail or any other scenario like that. But basically, don't use f-strings and don't use string formatting to uh, make HTML. Now, if you want to do this the right way, since it's probably always good to get a learning experience out of this, uh, in Python there's a library called Markup Safe. I'm sure there's others that do this as well. Uh, I guess technically the HTML library in Python has uh, escaping functionalities, but typically what I will do is I will use markup safe. And there's a markup safe dot markup class, and that allows you to safely do um, string uh, src and alt, uh, alt equals our alt here. So it allows you to safely do uh, HTML formatting. Uh, I should have copy pasted these a little bit better. But if we were to do this and alt equals the other string that we had from before, let's just put that in there and we'll print the result of that. Uh, you'll see that it has properly escaped the characters here. So even though we had put in malicious code, uh, we're gonna get HTML entities out instead and not 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 executable uh, data here, which is usually the problem with uh, XSS. But yeah, you can see now, you know, this this image renders fine. And if we were to break the image to trigger the alt text, um, just do dot example dot com, uh, we're gonna get our our uh, alt text here. Anyway, uh, hopefully you enjoyed this, and I will see you in the next one.